Hello people and others. In this video I'd like to share how I created these lovely pigeon houses. That's uh, that's how I call it because I actually had no idea what the proper word for these small structures to breed pigeons in um, I mean in English. Uh, and I googled and it's supposed to be tough coat, I think. That's how you pronounce it. Um, if, if that's wrong then I'm really sorry. And anyway, um, of course I know there are no pigeons in Minecraft. Uh, that doesn't really stop my imagination from pretending there could be and building them some uh, small houses, right? First, I want to create the stakes by using a simple fence and it's going to be five blocks tall. It can be six or four, doesn't really matter. And the second one, I don't want the fence to connect to each other, so I'm going to place the second one next to the first one in this kind of diagonal way. On top of this, I'm going to create a platform as a, as a base for the top coat. So I can use slabs with some full blocks to connect it, but I prefer re replacing it with upside down stairs just because I think it looks a bit more interesting. So this was rather easy to build but now comes the real fun part with a lot of stairs in different positions so uh, I'll try to make it clear and build rather slowly. First I'm going to place a stair in one corner it doesn't really matter which one I choose. So for example there and now I need to keep in mind that the pigeon holes or the tiny windows are basically this um, empty kind of square in, in, in the stair. And uh, for, the, for this design that I created I need to know that I have to always have one window or one hole on each side. So I'm going to have a hole on this side so I'm going to turn and for this side I'm going to create a supportive block like that and place upside down stair which is going to create a hole here. Now moving to the next side I'm going to place a stair again like this and create a hole here. And then on the fourth side I again need upside down stair in here so I'm going to create a supportive block upside down stair and remove this. So that's going to create the first floor basically of the duff coat with a, with a window or a hole on each side. The next step to do is to build the second floor of the duff coat of Disney and this time I'm going to start with a stair again but uh, I can't put it just randomly because it depends what kind of design I want and where I want the holes to be. And for this design, I know I'm going to have a hole here, so I want to have the second the second hole on this side there. So I'm going to put a stair there. Now on this side, I want to have a supportive block and upside down stair. So now I'm going to have a hole there and there. On this side I'm going to repeat what I did with the first one, so placing a stair. And finally for this side I'm going to again create a supportive block, upside down stair and remove this. And that's the second floor for me. So that was probably the most difficult part with the stairs. Um, I mean not that difficult but just maybe slightly confusing how I was adding and removing some blocks. But I hope I made it clear enough. So to finish this off I'm going to add four blocks on top and then place a dark oak roof which is by the way the same color I used for the bottom part and this is birch wood. If that wasn't obvious. <laughs> um, for the colors, 
I found out when creating this structure that it's rather good to use some light color for the holes for this part because uh, when I used some dark colors uh, the holes kind of disappeared because it was just dark overall and with the light colors I can see the shadows there so that's just an observation I found out but uh, I guess everyone can test it for themselves so uh, anyway I can also create another hole there by replacing this with upside down stairs not there but there uh, but I have to say the shadow in here is really dark so maybe someone might not like it actually but for me it's fine so I'm going to put it there and finally I'm going to place two slabs in here as a another like platforms for the pigeons to sit and do stuff their pigeons do <laughs> I, I don't know and that's pretty much it all right in the end I'd like to just show you how I modify this uh, design that I created so for example I made a smaller deck coat where I used only four blocks uh, stokes and also I didn't add a second floor so it can be like that or this taller one where I used six blocks or six fences and also I didn't use only the square hole but uh, also this rectangle which I think looks pretty cool as well so I like that it really only depends on how you place the stairs uh, how you how you put it uh, together if it's like upside down or normally and on which side and um, yeah definitely many more possibilities to do it uh, so hopefully you enjoyed um, you like this uh, design because I, I have to say I'm pretty proud on myself for uh, making up this uh, as obviously the first idea that I had or I mean the first way when I got the idea to build a death code was to create a the pigeonhole basically an empty block so this hole was so uh, basically that one <laughs> and it was so big that it was like for some giant pigeons or I don't know I didn't like it at all so um, yeah I have to say I'm really proud on myself for making up this uh, design with stairs and I mean obviously I'm not saying I'm the first person to use that um, but um, yeah I think it's pretty cool uh, can be nice decoration for some farms or like rural uh, areas and houses so um, again I hope, hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching goodbye